Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're at Ping headquarters today in Phoenix, Arizona, talking with Marty Jertson about brand new Glide Forged Wedges. Marty, brand new product. These things look really good, and I know you can't get them out to your tour players fast enough. Yeah, and uh, I th that's where this project started, Chris. It, it started to work with our tour players, in particular, um, Louis Oosthuizen and he's put the 60 degree in play in the first couple of weeks we've had it out there for him. And we really focused on what he was asking for. We worked with a lot of our brand ambassadors, Stan Utley as well, is uh, kind of the equivalent of a blade wedge, a shop maker's wedge. And so this wedge, the face size is about eight to 10% smaller than our Glide 2.0. So this is, this is a complement to our Glide 2.0 wedges. It, it's kind of like our eye blade of, of our irons, right? So it's a little smaller. It's, uh, it, it has a very versatile sole design that lives between our thin sole and our standard sole. Okay. So it's right between our TS and our SS. Um, and uh, we're using premium manufacturing techniques. Forged 8620 gives us that soft, assured feel in the wedge, but we boost the inertia with uh, 12 or 13 grams of tungsten weight in the low toe. So even though the head size is compact, it still has a lot of forgiveness to it. And then in the playing position, uh, we've added a little bit of offset in a little bit of tapered hosel, kind of a gooseneck hosel that helps with, uh, it's kind of like the equivalent of playing a strong arc putter. It gives you a little more sensation, a little more resistance for closure uh, when you're pitching and chipping. This is okay. a, a, something, we, again, we worked really hard with our tour players and Stan Utley to bring that level of physics into this design. Uh, and the hosel also is kind of mirrored after uh, what made the I-2 great out of the bunker. So the, the hosel tapering in and then very low bounce in the heel makes it really, really good out of the bunker and very versatile out of the bunker as well. Yeah, and it also, doing some testing early, it made it really easy to open the club face like you said, kind of hit different types of shots that you needed from a different lie to a tuck pin, things like that. Yeah, this is our most versatile wedge. I'm glad you noticed that, Chris, is that one of our other goals, um, and uh, Todd Anderson we work with on this, is to, when you open the face, we wanted the lead edge to sit really low to the ground so that when you, when you are, we do have that tight lie and you want to open the face, get under the ball, uh, you, you have a reduction in the bounce, the lead edge stays l very low to the ground. Yeah. Um, and we've just seen amazing amount of spin production, being able to hit those low spinners. Um, and that's powered by the, the grind that's halfway between our TS and our SS, about 10 degrees of bounce, and then our high friction face design. So the milling pattern, our wheel cut grooves with our very tight edge radius, uh, our Hydro Pearl 2.0 finish. And what we've done on this wedge is, is we've also left the bottom groove with no paint fill so we get more volume there um, and then shifted all the grooves down so we're getting uh, more it's kind of like the equivalent of more treads on your tire if you're driving in the rain so we get more displacement of material to get better compliance between the cover of the golf ball and the face yeah and the thing you know tested glide 2.0 then got a chance to test stealth with the carbon steel mm. was definitely a little bit softer which the tour players wanted this is like a whole nother level of softness I mean, you can even hear, there's like no yeah, well that's sound. sound yeah. It's incredibly soft. Yeah, it's just very assured. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of gives you the feeling it would be equivalent to putting with our, our uh, fully milled Vault 2.0 putters. It's, it's like that. It gives you that solid, one material, homogeneous sensation that really gives you a lot of confidence with your shot making. Uh, really pleasing impact experience. Um, and we've also modeled just our build details after kind of the most typical tour build. So S300 okay. and tour velvet grip, again, just to align with, you know, we'll probably have uh, the, the community that will be fitting into this, a little more avid players. We modeled our stock build after the most common tour build. And like you said, you know, probably, a, you know, a more avid player is going to be interested in this wedge. I'm a decent player, yep. got to do some testing and what was amazing was the consistency in terms of the numbers. Like with a gap wedge, with every ball I hit, I was within two yards of the same carry distance and yeah. within about 300 yards or 300 RPM of spin. Just unbelievable consistency. Yeah, and I think that's what players are going to see out there, like yourself, uh, are going to see that level of precision. And that's 
everything about this wedge is meant to drive that. So the friction between, we're, we're getting between the ball and the face, the grind, the finish, how it goes through the turf, and the premium manufacturing, the forging process, or even fly cutting the back surfaces on the, on the wedge to get even that, improve our level of precision for thickness, head weight tolerances as tight as we've ever held on a wedge design. So there's so much that goes into driving that net performance. And before we wrap up, we also want to talk, there's going to be some pretty amazing custom options when it comes to this wedge for players to take advantage of. Yeah, it's something again, uh, you know, our tour players have been, have been doing this for a little bit of while. We've been, we've been customizing their wedges. Wedges and putters are so personal, you know, as we all know, Chris. And what we wanted to do is now deliver some options to our customers um, to customize and personalize their wedges. And so you're holding one there. Um, that has one of our blast patterns that we're going to offer. So we're going to offer four different graphics. We have the American flag there. Uh, we have a Mr. Ping graphic. We have a, a really unique boomerang uh, graphic. And then a desert landscape that really speaks to our Arizona heritage <laughs> and, and Scottsdale uh, Phoenix heritage. So we have four different blast patterns. You can put your initials on there so we can do custom stamping. Uh, and, and you can kind of pick which location, and then you can layer on custom paint fill on top of that. Wow. So between those uh, three different options to create something that's very unique, personal to our customers, and something that's going to even uh, enhance your, your playing experience and, and make your wedges a little more personal to you. Good stuff. Marty, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Chris.